All righty, all righty, all righty. All righty, all righty, all righty. Mic check, all righty. All righty. Mic yeah. not on. Yeah, it is, Cheryl. All righty. I can hear you. Your mic is on, Cheryl. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to A Dash of Shirley. I am your host, Shirley Dash, and who's I? Oh, my goodness, everyone. I have so much to talk to you about as it regards and relate to sports. So, you know what's been going on? So, lately, we've been talking about, and I'm going to introduce you to my pr producer soon, but we've been talking about different people as they have been being blessed in the music business, the gospel music business, putting out CDs, cutting CDs, um, just being blessed tremendously. And I just want to, once again, thank all the guests that has been on my show, um, all the people from the Praise Worship Experience CD from Beloved St. John Evangelistic Church, Church and also Solo. So once again, thank you, everyone. So we want to move it on. So we've been excited. We've been itching. We've been waiting to, to get this thing going along. So before I go any further, I need to introduce to you my producer. His name is Jay. <laughs> And I'm so happy to have him as my producer on a Dash and Shirley show. So, Jay, what's going on, buddy? What is crack -a and Cheryl? How oh! are you doing? <laughs> Another edition of a Dash and Shirley show. I am excited. We're wow. rocking it. And we got an excellent show lined up for everybody tonight. Yes, yes, we do. And um, we're going to have fun. We are. We're going to have fun. We're going to the sports that's we're right. We want to change sir. the sports, and we want to just, you know, let everybody see how we came together. Switch. Yep. How we came together, how we brought things on, and just the um, how we came together co to collaborate. What we love, we love sports. We do. I mean, when we call each other over the phone, when we're talking about it through emails, I'm on yep. your show, Sports Skillet, and just tell everybody that's how right. they can find you, Jay. Well, all they have to do is do a search on social media for Sports Skillet or the Sports Skillet radio show, and we'll pop up. We do a live stream from here every Friday afternoon, and we also do our live show on Fox Sports Radio 920 The Jersey every Sunday starting at 11 a.m. So you can find us on Fox Sports Radio 920 The Jersey, or just do a search on social media for right. so Sports Skillet. Okay. So everyone, once again, please check out Jay. You will love to hear them. They are so fun, and they bring a lot of stats. So not just that, they love their sports too. So uh, we just come together mm -hmm. as families. So before we go any further, Jay, I just want to say um, – you know, all my prayers, you know, still going up to you and your family and your dad and praying for his healthy, you know, for him to, you know, get better in his health. So how was your father's day? It was pretty good. Cheryl had a nice little barbecue there. We relaxed, you know, didn't do anything overly uh, outrageous for right. Father's Day. Just kind of nice and relaxing and everything, you know, because my dad does have some health right. issues right now. He's working his way back. He's Good. getting better each and every day. And we appreciate everybody sending out their well wishes to us and everything. So he's recovering. He's getting better each and every day. I'm so glad to hear that. And that's a blessing. So we want to continue to keep your dad and our prayers continue for him to have, you know, healthy, that his health continue to um, get stronger and stronger. And just you as your family, you know, you and your family members that's helping to take care of him, that your strength grow and your strength increase because you don't want to get weary while you're taking care of someone. Exactly. It can wear you out. Yeah. A hundred percent. You know, you know, all these health caregivers mm -hmm. and everything like that, yeah. it does wear on them a little bit. Yeah. But you know what we got to look forward to besides each other, baby. We got what do sports, we got? man. Sports. <laughs> For the love of the game, what would you do for the love of the game? For the love of the game with Shirley Dash. With Shirley Dash. A dash of Shirley. Shirley Dash in control. Baseball. Football. Hockey. The game, the game is on. NBA. MLB. NHL. NFL. For the love of the game with a dash of Shirley. A dash of Shirley. Of Shirley. Of Shirley. Man, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why my family introduced me to sports at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they did, Cheryl. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, 
Oh my god, I'm just I'm just saying, Jay, so much. I love talking about sports. I love reading about sports. I love listening to sports. I can watch it by myself. I can watch it with a group of people. It doesn't matter. I just love sports. So do I, Cheryl. But you and I share that sports love, you know? Yeah. We really do. I'm sitting here looking at your shirt. You got all our teams represented here in Philadelphia. I do. You know what I mean? The Eagles, the Flyers, the Six, Sixers, and the Phillies. And I do. You know, I just, you know, three out of the, one out of three. I, I, I'm trying I to, I'm trying I to stay all, optimistic. I got them all represented. Yeah, right I, I love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you notice yeah. I didn't wear none of my attire. I normally do all my Eagle stuff. You know, I, just today, I just wanted to stay a little neutral for right now. But, oh, goodness, we have to go there. We have to go yeah. there. I know it happened. A month or so ago, where we have to talk about that last seven game of the Sixers because no one really heard, you know, our intake on it. You know what I mean? The the That's pain right. that we felt when that and ball went in. Oh my gosh! The bouncing around the rim, Cheryl. The depression that came right after that. Because <laughs> I mean, you, you know, and, and you look at it and you wonder where the Sixers would have would have gone to had the ball not gone. Into the net, you know, if it had clanked off, you know, like like the football did with the Minnesota Vikings, oh, the you know, doink, yeah. the double doink. If this had been the quadruple doink, you know, or oh my you know, and the ball had not gone through the net, you know, you wonder how far the Sixers would have gotten. Toronto went all the way and won the NBA championship. They did. <sighs> you know, I mean, congrats to Toronto for for winning yeah. it, but. Congrats. You have to wonder that with everything that happened to the Golden State Warriors, yep. if that ball the had ending. not gone into the net, could the Sixers have won the championship? The world may never know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I couldn't wait to say that. But, you know, yeah. that has passed. And now, fast forward, we're here with the NBA Finals. I mean, with the NBA Draft. Yep. Or what was left of the NBA Draft for us, the Philadelphia 76ers. How would you score the draft? I think they did pretty well. Um, uh, you know, I don't think – I mean, you know, they came away. They got a good defender in the draft. He should be able to step in and play right away. So, I think they – for uh, where they were drafting, I mean, they're, they're no longer nah. going to be in the NBA lottery. We hope for a while now. Yeah. So. I think they came away. They've got a lockdown defender, so that will help him out, a 3 and D guy. So uh, he'll develop as the years go on, and I think he'll complement the team yeah, pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the burning question is, are we going to be able to maintain our veterans? Are That's, we going to be able to maintain our veterans? Like, <coughs> the draft pick is fine. We love the young kids, and we need the young kids. That's all fine and dandy. But – are we going to be able to keep Butler? Is Tobias going to come? I, I heard we have a meeting, maybe, maybe a glimpse, probably not even a glimpse, probably a little peekaboo through, through a, um, a, peep, a peephole of Kawhi Leonard maybe looking to um, meet with some other teams on the East Coast. But I don't know. I think Tobias Harris is going to be the one to watch. I uh, I think he may wind up getting... Uh, an offer from another team, and he may move on from the 76ers. Uh, Jimmy <sighs> Butler, I think, will come back. I think uh, because wow, he's uh, he's not going to be able to get another off. The Sixers can uh, give him an offer that's better than any other team on the market. So because of that, I think Jimmy Butler will return to the Sixers. Tobias Harris, I don't think, will return. So that will open up another avenue for the Sixers to go down and maybe sign another uh, high-profile free agent. I, I'm going to have to stop yeah. right there. I, I just, you know, it's just too much going on. I don't know what did Tobias Harris do for us lately, really, when we was in the playoffs. I, I, I'm being honest. What has he done for us during the playoffs? Exactly. Like, he, he, was, he was there, but he wasn't there. He, his presence was there physically, but he wasn't there mentally. I really didn't see him too many times come to the plate as I did with Jimmy Butler, you know. And there was times when Ben Simmons, he turned on, off, on, off, on. We need him to stay hot. I, you know what? Yep. I, I just – I love the Sixers. That's my team. We're ride or die with them. 
but I just, you know, it's just, just too much with them. It's just too much. So, okay, I, I just came with them. The, the Phillies, like we yeah. just going from one <laughs> one thing to the next, and it's like we, we, we are. up here and we going down here as we talking about our teams here in Philadelphia. What is going on with the Phillies right now? I, Cheryl, if I could figure that out, I would win a million dollars. I'm about ready to I, take my jacket off, I, line them all up, and say pop, 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 because everybody right now want to want a piece of them. I'm telling you, I can't figure the Phillies out. You have a manager who doesn't discipline his players in <sighs> Gabe Kapler. I mean, come on, Gabe. When you, The one thing that we want out of our players in Philadelphia is hustle. You hustle, know, baby. Go hustle, out. hustle, hustle, hustle all day long. Get down and hustle. Get on your slide. Do whatever you need to do. Hustle, hustle. Do you get it? Do you hear it? Do you hustle. That's what we do. That's what we do, man. Come on. Cesar Hernandez, come on. Not hustling to second base. Give me a break. You know, Gene Segura costing Andrew McCutcheon the season, possibly contributing to Andrew McCutcheon yeah. being out for the yeah. season. All from a lack of hustle. And the manager doesn't discipline him. And where's the small ball at? Why everybody got to go for a home run? Every time you turn around, the base is loaded. Everybody trying to hit a home run. Bring somebody home. Where's exactly. A fly ball. A lot of times a fly ball. Just advance a runner. Play small ball. Advance All a, these pop-ups. You know. Pop-ups. Pop-ups. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm frustrated, Cheryl. I'm telling you. Ah, choke this water, choke. I, I want to choke. I want to choke <laughs> Gabe Kapler. I, I just act to, like this. No, I'm, I'm you sorry. Know, no, just we're to, not choking nobody. Yeah, we're, not, but, we're, uh, gonna, we're gonna have to go into but, the encouragement uh, room. <laughs> we may have to, but I'm telling you, just from a lack of hustle and discipline, and you know, it, it's just frustrating to see these guys because these guys. The offense should be scoring a minimum, a minimum, with the talent on this roster. Yep. Bryce yep. Harper, Gene Segura, yep. Yep. Reese Hoskins, yep. you know, yep. Scott Kingery. Bruce. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, Jay Bruce. They yep. should yep. be scoring yep. a minimum of three runs a night. I don't think that's a tough that's, ask. It's at. not a tough ask. If they if they play yep. small ball, they stop yeah. going for the home runs every single time. Damn. You don't have to do that. Why? It's just like with the NBA. They're at the three-point perimeter. Everybody got to shoot a three-point. Everybody got – what happened to play small ball? What happened to everybody got to score quick? It's like the microwave versus the oven. Everybody want quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Come yep. on, you got to slow walk these things. Exactly. You know, and if it's not the hitting, it's the pitching on the Phillies. Oh, and my they, goodness. You know, it's one or the other. And when they get good pitching, like they have gotten good pitching the past few games, mm -hmm. then the offense hibernates, right. you know. And uh, unfortunately, just announced today, Matt Clintock came out, had a meeting with all the beat writers before <laughs> the game and said, you know what? We're not making any changes to the coaching staff. Gabe Kapler is going to be our manager for the rest of the season, and that's it. And I don't Period. think. And and here's the thing: going into this series, the Phillies have lost seven straight. Yep. Going into this series, four games against the dumpster fire that is the New York Mets. But you know what? I'm not going to yeah. even say that because the the hungry teams won it. At yeah. the end of the day, they saw our weaknesses, they exploited them, and who came out on top? The team that wanted to win. And it wasn't the Philadelphia Phillies who got more talent than on than the Mets than the Miami um yep. the Dolphins. It was um my mm, Marlins. Miami Marlins, thank you. Yep. It's the daggone Mets and the Marlins that came out on top. We was the ones that think we better than everybody or think we got the win in a in a in a bag. No, we don't. We got to prove. We got exactly. to come together as a team. It's Something is going on behind the locker room. Exactly. And and here's the other thing too that I wanna do is I want to see Bryce Harper. I want to see one of the uh, Reese Hoskins, uh, JT Realmuto, one of these guys, veteran guys on the team, take a baseball bat and just start bashing in the lockers and and taking this team by the horns and saying, you know what, guys, we got to snap out of this. We got to play together as a team. We yeah. got to hustle out of the batter's box every time we hit the every put time. the ball in play. We got to snap. I mean, because that. You look at Darren Dalton, right? Beloved Darren Dalton. Mm -hmm. He did that with the 93 Phillies. He he came out, and when the Phillies were playing bad, went into St. Louis, had a bad series, he took the team by the horns and said, guys, we got to snap go. at it. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. We're better than this. Period. And the Phillies are. They're better than what they're showing out but there. How, how, but, can we, how can we tell? Yeah. What, what will, will the real Philadelphia Phillies please stand up? 
Exactly. We don't know what team we're going to get on any given night. And it's sad to say because they started out really good. They started out really well. Yeah. Something is going on behind the scenes in the locker room. We don't know what it is, but it's showing on the field. There's it no is. unity. There's no team. There's nothing. It's me, myself, and I. And it should not be on a team sport where all the team, where all the guys come together and they need each other in order for us, in order for them to win. win. Can't one person, the pitcher cannot win the game by himself. You see what no. I'm saying? The catcher cannot win the game by himself. The guys on the base cannot win. They yep. need each other. Exactly, Cheryl. They need to come together as a team. They need to get the pitching. They need to pitch well and hit well. And they're not doing – I mean, you can't point – here's the frustrating part of it. When, it. when it comes – boils down to everything, you can't point to one thing on this team right. that the Phillies do exceptionally well or do well right now. Pitching is not there. The hitting is not there. No. The base running is not there. Mm. The defense is so uh, so. So so. Let them make a little error. Oh my exactly. goodness! Exactly. It's going you to know? trickle. It's going to trickle effect around everybody. You know? And you look at and you look at the Atlanta Braves. They're doing everything well. Oh, please you don't know? mention another team that's doing better yeah. than us right now. I can't. <laughs> I can't take it you right know? now. You know. I'm, I'm, I mean. I, we, 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 we love to report. We're analysts. We love to do that. And yeah. we are fans too. So we got to be remind. We got to be, we got to remember that, you know, it's, we just can't be one sided, but I'm being honest. I don't want to hear about another team doing well right now. I don't want to be, I don't want to hear it, Jay. I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it either. You know? I know it's the I, truth and it hurts. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't want to hear it either. I want my Phillies to be in first place. You know, I want my Phillies to be excelling like they did the first month of the season. Yes. Where did that go? You know, where, you where was, Phillies? Where yeah. you at? We need you. Can you come back? Exactly. Can you come back down wherever you went at. I don't. We don't know where you went at. We need you to come back. Please come back and play baseball. Y'all better beat the Mets. I know that's. I know y'all better beat the Mets. Y'all better beat the series. Y'all better beat them. Y'all better. Dash of Shirley. We so, needed that, know, Shirley. We're getting you, fired you. up, you know? know. You know what, Jay? That's why you my producer. And I love you. You know what? I, I'm about to, I was about to go on the rant. I'm so glad you I know. Me. I know you were, Cheryl. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. So, anyway, we just want to keep it moving with for the love of the game because we always say the best for last. Before we even get to the last, we just want to say congratulations. <sighs> Once again. It's another sport team, you know. Yep. Anyway, we, you know, we know we good, we good sports. You we know? are. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Jay. I can't help it. I'm gonna keep. I'm laughing to keep from crying because we're going from the Sixers to the Phillies now to the Flyers. It's just, I, you know, I tell you, it, it's been so long since the Flyers. I was a baby the last time the Flyers. <laughs> no, you was no baby. <laughs> oh, he's in the Stanley Cup. You know, is it asking? No, to I was a baby. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, we can't say congratulations to the Saint, the Saint uh, Lou, Saint, Saint Louis, Louis Blues, Blues, you know, for winning the Stanley Cup. We can yep. say um, congratulations to them and um, Greg. Um, sorry, uh, Craig, Craig Berube, the yeah. Chief. You know, mm -hmm. we can't say that. And you know, hey, he had to go somewhere and, and get that ring. He had to go somewhere else. And you know what? You can't blame him. No, I mean, hey, you know. And that's the sad part about it is that he had to go somewhere else and get the ring and not get the ring on. You know, and that seems to be the case with a lot of flyers. Jody Meech yeah. used to be on the Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> now he got a ring. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jeff, yeah I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, and, and that's the thing is that you shouldn't have to go somewhere else to get the ring. The ring should be coming to Philadelphia. You know, you shouldn't have to go to another team to – to hoist the trophy and uh, hoist the Stanley Cup and do all that stuff. That should be part of the phil the fabric of Philadelphia, you know? Oh, my goodness. You know what? You're right about you. that. And what are we, we going to do? There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it, but get it out because as long as you hold it in, you, you're angry and you're frustrated, and, and that's how it goes. But we do have some hope. Whoo! We have some hope, baby. We do. Jay, what what do I hear? I smell it in the air. Woo! Goodness, the NFL season is up. 
upon us approaching. It's, it's just getting closer. But I want to get your, as we start talking about this, Cheryl, okay. I want to get your opinion on something. Okay. Okay. Uh, up until this year, the Eagles have had a couple of practices that they open up to the fans. I mean, it used to be in Lehigh University right. where you could go out every day and right. interact with the players. Back, right. Okay. And then, understandably, they moved it back to mm -hmm. the NovaCare complex. Yes. Understandable. Yeah. Okay. You have your equipment, your doctors are there, much easier. Okay. Right. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But then they had at least a couple of open practices every year where fans could go to this year they knocked it down to one and they are charging for tickets Cheryl so what's your opinion on only one practice for the Eagle fans to go to and they're charging for tickets you want me to be nice which Shirley you want to answer that? I you want, want Eagle Shirley to answer that. I want Adash Eagle Shirley, Shirley to answer that. I want Shirley. Eagle. <laughs> I want Eagle Shirley. Your visceral <laughs> reaction, your fan reaction. That's what I want, Cheryl. Oh my! Because I can let you know how I feel about it, but well, I want to get your reaction on it. You know what? When I was listening, and I was, I was fine. I was fine, just okay. not making no opinion at first. But then people started calling me, I'm texting sure. me, and, you know, asking me, you know, what did I think? And then they was upset. So I started yep. thinking about it. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. I said, I know there's a rhyme and reason for everything. You know, I love my Philadelphia Eagles and organization, Jeffrey Laurie and everybody, and I know why they're doing it. And But there's no broader understanding to the fans of why they're doing it. You know what I mean? Meaning, yep. meaning fans like people that's 13 and under, 11, 12. 10, 9, 8, that don't have no money, that don't have $10, that look forward to going to the training camp, you know what I mean, for yeah. free because somebody is taking time off, taking a day off, or taking the time out their schedule to take up to six kids because, you know, they let you, let you do up to six tickets, yep. you know, prior to doing this, paying $10 um, to get in ahead. Yep. So it's probably because of crowd control. However, the kids don't know nothing about that. What no. about them? So what about them? And, and what I did was I tweeted out, at Eagle Shirley, you can find me um, um, on um, um, Twitter, at Eagle Shirley, a poll. If the Philadelphia Eagles was to open up another training camp at the Lincoln Financial Stadium for yep. free, would you go? So go check that poll out. Um, oh, I think it closed. You got, you got to the day before it closes. Okay. So, you know, people was voting, and, and I think I had over 80% that said yes. Yes, 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 yes. So they tell yeah. you right there, the fans want – to go to a training camp that's free. Yeah. That's free. It bonds the city. It bonds them with their family members. It bonds them. They're able to bring, you know, the children in. It's, to me, it's not about the adults. It's about the adults that bring the children in. So I was upset when I sat back and thought about it. I had to process everything because yep. I work with an organization that works with um, part-time, that works with intellectual with disabilities. So I love them to death. However, there are also other fans too that you um, that you um, pushing out the way that don't have a chance to come to the game. I mean, to come to a training practice now because the people that's going to probably bring ten kids. I mean, six kids. That's sixty dollars. Yeah, they don't have sixty dollars. Yeah, and you're not counting food or anything like oh, that. You know, like maybe they're talking don't, about almost you know. two hundred dollars now. Yeah. That's including paying for ten person ten dollars a head. Now you gotta pay for food. Now yep. you gotta pay for parking. Make exactly. Parking, do something. Make something free. I know they have no control over parking. So I did also say, how about acceptance was to kick in and allow people to, to go to the game yeah. for free? Would they? Because they normally do that on game day. But what about on training training camp day? That one day, Scepter can kick in. Come on, Scepter. Somebody in the city gotta help help out the people, the fans. That's, that normally go to one of these trainings, normally be, you know, yeah. like two free two free ones. But now there's only one open to the public, and it costs $10. Yeah, I mean, uh, people. some people say, oh, you know, only $10. But $10 is a lot to some people, you know. and It's a whole lot and, to a lot of people. Yeah, and like you said, when you're talking about bringing kids or whatever, this is so, the open training camp is supposed to be a day where – the team bonds with the city of Philadelphia, bonds with their fans. Fans of the Eagles come together, you know, right. and other fans come together too. That's right. You know, maybe. 
people meet up with other people at the stadium, friends of theirs. You know, it's a total bonding experience between the team and their fans. Right. And when you start limiting it, now it's only one one time that the fans can get together with the team, you know, and see the open practice and uh, get the Eagles merchandise and bond together. Now it's only one day. One and, day. And that, that, now, and now, if you don't spend the money, the ten dollars, now you're shut out. You shut out, you know, and you and, don't get to see it. And it's it's going to be limited people. Yeah. And my whole thing is, if it's a crowd control yep. thing, Philadelphia Eagles, you are the Philadelphia champions. Exactly. You have the money. You have the arsenal. You have the people to house and to protect. How many people come in, protect how many people are there yep. during that day. You have the resources. You do. So why yep. not open it up to another game? Or cut the price in half to five dollars. Uh, something, you know. Or, or cut the free tickets down from six tickets to three tickets. Yes. At least give us another training. Why are you closing up the tra- why are you, you know, starving out your fans? We we your we your we your ride or die. And, we your never quit. And, we your we there all the time. No matter what, go to a city, go to a state, go to a country. You gonna see Eagle fans. You gonna hear Eagle fans. We play back that fifty two champion bullshit. Um, when we played against the New England Patriots and listen to that crowd in Minnesota. When they when they brought out the New England Patriots, you heard more boos than you heard um yays because it was more Philadelphia fans that was there to cheer on our Philadelphia Eagles. We deserve a free training. We deserve it. We we supposed to have it. There's don't take it away from us. Give it back to us. That one more training for free, please. And here's my novel suggestion, Cheryl. How about just one day a week? opening up training camp for the fans of Philadelphia. One day a week. I don't think that's asking too much. You know, the team well, is there. One, maybe one day a week, just give the fans an open training that's camp day. Be at the, that's going to be at the Novakid Complex, so yeah. that's closed off, and it's only open yeah. to select But they select can the move fans. practice to Lincoln Financial Field one one day a week. If they come out and give us an explanation why they doing yep. it the way they doing it, is it because they make a changes throughout the link? Please tell us something like... Just I just want to know why. Because what's the drastic change from last year and the years prior to now one game? It got to be something. Is it logistics? Is it, it? Are you physically making changes throughout the link? And is it a, a safety hazard right. for us to not to be there? Just let us know. I would yeah. be fine with that. But not to say anything and just say and it's for charity. That's not a good enough excuse, Mr. Jeffrey Laurie. No. You got to give me more than that, baby. I'm still going to ride and die with you. But just let us know more than what you're telling us, that this is for charity. That's fine. I'm going to I'm going to support. I'm going to buy five tickets for somebody. It's not even about that. But the, what I'm saying is for the people he, who cannot do that. So please, yep. can you give us an answer as to why you only closing this up and you making us pay? for for charity which that's not the issue because we all want to give why are you having one? one that's my question yeah why yeah i think they should have more than one two three <sighs> open practices bond with the city of philadelphia the city of philadelphia has been supporting the eagles through thick and thin we suffered through some bad years yeah. now they're starting to get good for the eagles eagles are going to be good for hopefully a while yes. now so bond with the, this is a chance for the team to yes. bond with the city. And we're getting Carson back. We're getting Carson. We're getting Wentz. Carson yes. back. So what? You don't want us to see Carson yep. at his best while he's practicing? Exactly. Deshaun Jackson, come on, man! We, you know what we was robbed of? The Deshaun Jackson being moved. We was robbed of that. Now, now he's back. We can't watch him in practice. Yep. Oh my god! And oh. it's a practice. It's not and. It's not like you're going hold up, full speed. Hold up, hold know? up, hold up, hold up, hold yeah. up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. I just thought about something. Is that why we're closing up stuff? Because of who we have? Uh, maybe they're instituting some Is it be- super secret game plans or something. I don't know. Are, are we that hot that we got that many vultures trying to watch us and see what we're doing and training? I don't know. Maybe. Jay, sure. Wait a minute. Yeah. We might be on to something. Maybe. Wait a minute. We might turn that this angriness into some type of happiness. Maybe. I mean, you never know. Maybe Doug is Doug Peterson and his coaching staff has stumbled onto something and they have the super secret game plan or 
uh, some plays that they don't want people to see that they're going to be instituting this year. I don't know. Maybe. Ooh, hold up. I just thought about something. Who just left the personnel office? Joe Douglas. Come on, baby. Come Joe on. Joe Douglas. Come on. Think about it. You know. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. And fans, we need to look deeper into this. We maybe. probably should be happy right about now that it's going to be closed off. Now, 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 I'm thinking maybe. about it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, no, no, I'm no, just, no, no, no. See, I'm yeah. serious about that because yeah. the less people need to see. I know we want to see our babies. But yeah. wouldn't you rather see them going all the way to a championship rather oh, than seeing them in question. the training? Let me tell you. If I, had a cha- if I had a choice between winning the Super Bowl and having an open practice, Winning the Super Bowl, hands down. So we gotta, yeah. we gotta, we gotta right. take what they're gonna give us right now. If yeah. that's the case, I'm not sure, but my mind, I want to be optimistic. I want to have my cup half full. So I, I got. I know you do. I want to think yep. so positive, and I'm so happy right now. And I need yep. something, Jay. I need something from you, baby. Oh, what you gonna give me? Woo-hoo. A dash of Shirley. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when you get fired up, Cheryl. <laughs> but you know what? I just thought about that. Now I'm going to yeah. be thinking about that more and more because everybody keeps saying we the hottest, we the hottest, we the hottest. But I uh, stop, stop. That's on paper. That's on paper. Y'all don't yep. know what we're going to be doing. That's right. They still have to play the game, Cheryl. They mm. still have to go out. They still have to win the games every Sunday to get to where we want them to get to. So I'm, I'm kind of like, I think I'm kind of like rousing myself up far as not well, being I want to so be angry, yeah. mm, and I'm thinking about, hmm, is this some type of plan? I mean, we we suffering from it, but that suffering is going to turn into, yeah, that's why they didn't do it. That's why yeah. we didn't want them. So I, that's if I got if I'm going <laughs> to make myself not be upset about the closed um, practices, then I need something to think about positive. I need sure. to be happy. That's true, Cheryl. You do absolutely. We all do. <laughs> No bad news, baby. Nobody does, show. We all want to be happy. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No offense to you. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Cause what? Because I'm happy. Come along. If you feel like a room. Yeah. My eagle. Big season upcoming, Cheryl. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, just thinking about the NFL. Woo! Thank you, Lord. My full enough eagle. That's right. Oh, my goodness, Jay. I got to come down. I'm coming down now, Jay. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you so much. Oh, I am happy. I am happy. I I cannot, we have, we are so grateful and we have a lot to be thankful for and the stuff that we do complain about and get angry and set over, if you sit back and think about it, it's really minimum, you know, but as fans, we do expect a certain level of respect from the organizations that we represent and represent us. So exactly. Just to, you know, not to go back and harp on that because I, I, I'm still happy. I'm still happy just hearing that. I'm just so happy. Ooh. <sighs> By the way, when the Eagles win, that is the song that I do play. That is awesome. That's the song I, I – I, I, hey, that's it. That's my song that I play when the Eagles win. 
But I just want to just, I've, anyway, just thank the Philadelphia Eagles for how they um, keep the organization, like, just as a whole, like, with the one unit, like a team, a unit, and just the unity. And, you know, they don't hit the mark all the time because right now we upset with them about the training. But yeah. can we really stay upset with them about the training? You know, in the overall scheme of things, as long as the Eagles get to where we want them to go, you know, this is going to be forgotten about when we get to November and December. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. it's going to be all forgotten yeah. about, and yeah. we're going to be, you know, all cheering for the Eagles yep. and uh, hoping that they get to the Super Bowl and keeping mm -hmm. track of all the statistics and who's yep. beating who. And yep. we'll forget about this, of you course, know, in November and December and when the Eagles get to the Definitely. playoffs and everything. And when they beat Dallas oh, and the Giants. Oh, come on, baby. And, come on, baby. You know. Come on, baby. Come on now. Don't yeah. get me hyped. You know how I get now. <laughs> it's not time yet. Woo! You know how I get. I'm trying to keep it there. I need my voice, Jay. What you trying to do to me? Trying to have me lose my voice? Beloved St. John, I need my voice. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to the fight song. No, we didn't. But uh, we do have to play that, Cheryl. <gasps> Come on, everybody. Eagles fly on the road to victory. Fly, Eagles fly. Touchdown, one, two, one, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high, and watch our eagles fly. Fly, eagles fly, on the road to victory. E-A-G-L-E-S, eagles! Woo! All the way, baby. That's All right. The way. So... <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this is so beautiful. I love what we're doing. I love a Dash and Shirley show and chilling and kicking out with you, my buddy Jay. I love the same thing show. I look forward to this show <laughs> all the time, I tell you. Oh, my goodness. It's just so many good things to come, and we're just having fun, everybody. So I hope you continue to check us out or make suggestions. Go to dashandshirley.com to check us out. Go to um, skillet, sorry, sportskillet.com to check out Jay. Sportskilletradio.com. Sports sportskilletradio.com. Check out yeah. Jay and his team. And you can like me on Facebook, that's Shirley Dash. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Eagle Shirley. And I'm also on Instagram. I'm not too active on it because I don't know. I may, I don't know, y'all. I may cancel. You know how some of them social medias you're really not sure about? I don't yep. know. I, I, I spent more time on Twitter. Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah especially Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube, that's that's the thing, too. That's my thing, too. But Twitter, that's my baby. I, it's something about me and Twitter. I, I really like Twitter the, for me the most. And then, of course, Facebook. Well, a lot of everybody's pretty much on Twitter, I think. Twitter is a is a good social media account. You yeah, know? But, but a lot of people not into Like, I'm in, on it for the sports more yeah, so. So and, am I. Yeah, and other people are using Instagram for like other stuff. Yeah, and Facebook like family, just that and the other. So the 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 population for me is it varies and it's, and it's different. So I'm excited and I just hope everyone continue to you know to support us and follow us and make suggestions. Would you like to? Who would you like for me to interview? Um, you want to be interviewed? Come on in the studio. So we would love to have you here at Connecticut School of Broadcasting, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Yeah, chilling, kicking exactly, it live, having fun, doing what we do. Exactly. You know, every other Monday night, having fun. Yes. Doesn't get any better than a dash yes. of Shirley yes. every other Monday. You know. Well, this. Well, the next time will be closed because of. Well, uh, the holiday, the holiday I, I believe. Think, will they be Yes. Closed? Well, we don't I know. So. If they close or not, hey, we may be here, we may not be here. Exactly. You never know. But that's why you have to tune in every other Monday. Follow yeah. Adash and Shirley on her <laughs> social media accounts to find out what Adash, you what will, Shirley's doing. I know. It's, yeah. it's, it's so What much. you're up to. All your shenanigans Oh, over there. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell stuff. You can't tell stuff. <laughs> so we just want to... Um, we're going to ride on out, and we just want to thank, thank you once again. Ride on out with a Dash Shirley uh, theme song. And we just want to thank everybody for tuning in once again to a Dash Shirley.com as we um, segue from our Love of the Games um, segment. And to next time, 
you have just been sprinkled with a dash of Shirley.